The process of setting up your ArtReach member portal login is fairly simple, and there are a couple of different ways that you can do this. The first way and the easiest is that if you've received an email from ArtReach about your member portal, um, there's probably a link in that email that will bring you directly to the account setup page. So that helps you to skip a couple of steps that we're about to go over in this video. But if for whatever reason you don't have that email readily available or you just can't find it, you can also do this through the ArtReach website. So when you're on our homepage, art-reach.org, on the right-hand side of the page, there's a link that says Organizations and Groups. You can click on that. And then you can click on the tab that says Ticketing. And once you're on the ticketing page, if you scroll about halfway down, you'll see a button that says Member Organization Portal Login. So you can click that button. You'll be brought to the Account Login page. Of course, you don't have a login name and password yet, so instead, you can click this link below that says having trouble logging in. That link will bring you to uh, this page where you can put in your email address, click continue. And what will happen is you'll receive an email with a personal link that will let you set up your account and your password. So once you go into your email, click that link. You'll be taken to a page that looks very similar to this one, where you can set your login and password. You'll notice that there are two different accounts to choose from. One of them will have your name, that's labeled as an individual user, and the other account should have your organization or company's name that's labeled as a company user. And this is very important. You want to make sure that you are selecting the account with your company's name because these are organizational memberships, not individual memberships. So make sure that you are selecting the option with your company's name and that will allow you to um, manage your company's membership and renew it moving forward. Um, of course, if for some reason you accidentally create an account under your own name, that's okay. You can just contact us and we can fix that for you. So once you've selected the account affiliated with your company, then you can simply create a login name and password that you would like to use. If you plan on sharing this login information with other staff members at your organization, or if you are not the only person that will be logging into this account, we recommend choosing a password that isn't personal to you. It's not the same password that you would use for your email or other accounts that you have just for security purposes. So you just want to make sure that you're choosing something generic that's okay to, sit, to share with other people. So once you've chosen your login name and password, you can click Submit. And then you will be taken to your membership portal and uh, be able to manage your membership, request tickets, and do everything that you need to do in there. Um, and then moving forward, you can always come back to that account login page and you'll be able to log in using the same name and password that you've created.